Hi, welcome to lesson four of this course. In this lesson, I'm going to introduce you to Canva. So I've already mentioned that Canva is a tool that we are going to use for the design and we are going to master it. Hence, it's necessary that we start from scratch and learn how to use Canva. To begin with, we are going to create an account from now onwards or from this point onwards the course is going to be a walkthrough course so make sure as you are learning you'll be practicing if you have a computer by you learning then you try practicing on your computer if you are using your phone as well you can easily pause the lesson and go and create the account or follow the examples that i teach you it's supposed to be walkthrough so by the time we are done with the lessons the various projects that we are going to do you should have finished that project and submit you are going to submit them as part of your assignment for the award of a certificate of completion for this particular course all right so let's get started with canva for that sake we are going to use a new window so that i won't use the old account that i have we are going to use a private window so that i'll start everything from scratch hence this is your browser you've opened your browser for the first time and you are typing canva.com canva c-a-n-v-a dot com so canva.com all right so this is the interface if it happens to be your first time here and to the right hand side you can see login and you can see sign up so we are going to sign up that's to create a new account here all right for signing up you can sign up with a google account or a facebook account or any other email so for now let's sign up with a google account okay so because we are in the private window or incognito window it didn't pick my google account from the computer but if you are using a phone or a computer that you already have logged in and you are not in a private browser or an incognito browser then it will automatically pick the email associated with your phone or computer so let me use my email at gmail.com all right next then a password okay so if you are also entering it then you need to enter your password you need to enter your email and your password then finally we've created an account at canva and here you are welcome home Erwinia. we've been listening to feedback blah 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 take a look no we don't need it i'm here to walk you through so you don't need the uh, take a, a look around okay so basically this is the interface after you have logged in so now let's try exploring some of the things on the site. On the left hand side, the left menu, as you can see here, you can click to view all the designs that you have created. Wow. So I actually had an account. This is a very old account that I created. I didn't even realize. Okay. So basically you are now starting from scratch, meaning these ones won't be there these ones won't be there for you to uh, see because you are just starting so you see a blank canvas over here and anytime you do a design it will be added up here so whenever you come you will see all the designs that you have created right here then shared with you so one interesting thing about canva too is that you can share your designs with other people who have canva accounts and anytime anyone shares a design with you this is where you will see it and the more interesting thing is that the design that has been shared with you can edit it so whenever you are struggling with a design you can as well share with somebody else for the person to also make an input or if you have gotten a contract you can share your design with the person and they will also have a look so when you share design you can either make the person give the person or grant the person the ability to edit or not so sometimes you can make it just view only hence they can just view it and not do anything about it but you can also make them edit it by allowing the editing privilege okay so this brand kit is actually 
for the pro Canva version. In this course, we are going to use the free version. We are not going to pay for anything. Hence, I won't talk much about the pro version. But there are bits, there are lots of other things that you only have access to when you are using the pro version. Also, you can create a team. And what it means is that you create a group of people who are using Canva and you all can work on a particular project and that is a team in Canva and we are not going to discuss it since you are just beginning and we are looking forward to you building your skill as an individual and not necessarily as a team so we'll not look much into that and with the folders you can actually create folders and name them for your design so for instance you can create depending on let's say you have a contract and company a is giving you the work so you can create a folder for company a designs and personally i have let's say instagram post so if these contents are created for instagram then i'll put it in that particular folder you can create as many folders as you want and then trash so when you delete anything you'll find them here now let's continue the exploration as i've mentioned this is a very nice interface with a lot of categories so if it is social media that you want you can have social media you have videos or images or animations depending on what you want to post and instagram post so as you can see we are in the christmas mood at the time of the recording of this course so uh, you see a lot of Christmas templates that you can use. These are also logo templates. So you can create logos, Facebook posts, and other posters, presentations. So PowerPoint, you can create PowerPoint from here. Cards. So as we are in the Christmas season or any other season, you can create some cards, uh, wishing people. Either, if it is a birthday, you can create a birthday card, anniversary, wedding, and create all sorts of things. Facebook covers. You can even create pdfs from here a4 document so if you have come across the ebook that i wrote for graphic design with all the free resources you realize that it's very very nice and all the design actually came from canva by the end of the course i'll show you how i designed that using canva all right so now that we have created an account with canva and i hope you have also been able to create your own account the next thing to do is to start the design and I mentioned in a previous lesson that anytime you're about to start a design you should have or you should do some form of preparation towards the design and the first step to consider is the size which size are you going to use to create or what size do you need so for instance in Canva if I want to create a design at the top right you can see the button create a design so for this button you click create a design and we have some suggested size so this suggested for a poster they are giving you 42 by 59.4 centimeters you can design an infographic a presentation a video message instagram post logo there are a lot of different sizes that has been suggested for you that you can use is it a book cover you want to design or a label or a certificate so you can choose any of these however if the work that you are going to do does not fit into these categories then you want to choose your own size so depending on the size that you are looking for for instance uh, let's say i didn't see facebook uh, cover in there so i want to check the facebook cover size just go to google then type facebook cover size then let's pick the size from here the facebook cover photo size is 80 pixels wide 3 12 pixels tall so we have 8, 8 20 sorry 820 pixels by 312 so we can go here and click custom size then you enter 820 by 312 i hope that's right okay 820 by 312 and here the unit is in pixels so you can actually change the units based on the measurements that you got since we are using pixels let's go ahead and hit create new design so if it was if it wasn't the custom size and it was a particular one let's choose instagram post so if it was instagram post here is 1080 by 1080 when you click on it it will open in a new tab and for the custom size too it opens in a new tab for you so here they are giving you a suggestion that starts with a template 
what's happening what's going to happen is that anytime you choose the size for the design that you want canva will automatically give you templates that will suit that particular size so for instance this we are working on a facebook cover so let's just rename it this is how to rename it up here so you click here and you type the name of your design here facebook cover design one so let's assume that's what we want to do you realize that all these images have that same or a similar look as a template or the size that we have chosen over here and this is instagram and you can see per the size of this the suggested templates are also of the similar size so that once you pick any of them it covers automatically the size that you have here okay so to rename this you can come up here and name it instagram feed post one okay so now you've learned how to set the size and you've learned how to rename it so anytime you create a new one for instance let's try it again let's choose a poster so when you click on this it opens but it is an untitled design over here as you can see so when you come it's an untitled design so you want maybe poster design one just click within the box there and you'll be able to change it and at any point in time you can click back and rename your design once you rename it it appears up here as you can see instagram feed post facebook cover okay so for this particular size now you are seeing you can see that the templates here are generally of this nature and the same thing applies to all the others so basically we have established our size now the second step as i mentioned in the previous lesson is to know what kind of design you want to do then thirdly you want to get inspiration for the design the nice thing about canva is that there are a lot of templates and you can use the templates as the source of inspiration so this time around you don't necessarily need to move outside canva to go to maybe google.com or google images to look for an inspiration you can equally browse through this template and get what you are looking for so for instance if let's say it is church you just have to search within this uh, template site search was church okay yeah so unfortunately this one because the size is limiting it for google when you search you don't limit the size so it can bring you any design at all but this one the size is limiting it so it's going to bring you only the template that are of the same size and fall within the category that you are searching for so these are aren't great designs that you may imagine doing but you may also get some sort of inspiration from here whenever you want so let's try out the instagram feed and let's say i want to promote a product on instagram so i can say product all right and i think this is very interesting just by a click on it automatically it picks you see how nice it is so when you select it it will automatically pick the size that you have chosen and now you can go and do any sort of editing so currently i'm just showing you how to get a template and use so this poster you can just scroll through and choose the one that you want to use or you search for something that is related let's say student if that's what i want to search okay then i think i like this you click on it and it automatically puts it on your canvas or the size that you have chosen you need to note that i mentioned that there is a pro version of canva and there is a free version and in this course we are just using the free version so there are things that you won't have access to for instance some of the images some of the uh, in all i would say design elements that are available here are pro or they come at a cost and for each of them you have to pay if you are not using the pro account you have to pay one dollar to use each of them so for instance this particular one you realize that when i click on it i have remove watermark there is a watermark in there i don't know if you can see so check down here 22 percent we can actually zoom it 
by choosing the size that we want so let's go to 100 percent and now as you can see canva is the watermark canva is in there so this won't be great for work that you are doing for somebody hence you would want to remove it so you either replace this with your own image or you have to pay the one dollar to get canva to remove that watermark so that you can use the same image so basically this is how to set the size and get a template to use all right so now let's look at the other menu items and what they actually represent so you realize the very first one is template where we can get all sorts of templates and i've mentioned already that the template comes in a size for which you have already set so if you choose a rectangle you won't get any of the template size in the form of a square it will only give you templates that are in that particular size or shape okay so that is for the templates you can get almost anything you want here you can easily search then you can also set colors that you are looking for so for instance if by the filter this is the icon for the filter so if you choose this particular uh, color then you choose apply for this all right so why when we don't get it it means that we don't really have designs with that particular color if you are using okay at least down here the blue is here if you are using the pro version there is a lot more when it comes to the customization okay so you can see that the green team is true and you can go this way or let me choose uh, this one and see okay so you see the difference it won't go and bring us anything so this one narrows the color down or you can search let me remove this okay so any color at all and then so let me clear the recent one then i will search for anything here we search for students let's search for school so you can search for anything at all and once they have related contents that will be pulled out for you okay so learning graphic design i think i like this one when i click on it it goes to cover that one we'll learn more about how to edit them or anything but you realize that this is very nice it has readjusted to take the size that you want you can just make some quick edits and you have a very nice uh, design to put out there okay the next menu item that we want to look at is uploads so uploads is where you are able to upload your own media so you can upload an image you can upload a video and you can as well upload an audio so for images this is the images here for the videos the audio anytime you want to upload an image you come to uploads then you click upload media so the upload media then you are going to choose where you are uploading the media from so you can upload a media directly from facebook from google drive from instagram from dropbox i prefer to commonly use from my device so over here it's going to pick the image from my computer so let's quickly get an image and upload let me okay let me search for an image device go to personal all right so let me use my personal image and all right okay so let's use let me use this one okay so as you can see it is uploading when this gets full then it means that's fully uploaded and you can drag this and drop it anywhere you want or you click on it and it will appear on this one so if i want i can drag it and drop it here okay so as you can see this is the image that i have uploaded we'll look more into how to use them but i was just showing you how to upload an image so basically these are images that you have uploaded 
the next item is photos so here you have a lot of images that you can use these are stock images that you can use for free however they are pro version they are pro ones so the ones that are pro you need to pay one dollar for each of them and you can make awesome designs without even using any of the pro ones you can equally filter them using a uh, search term so you just need correct keywords to use to search and some has even been set or suggested for you the training one so for now christmas as i have mentioned we are in christmas season so the christmas ones are training so if you want a christmas tree for your design then this is free so anytime you hover on it if it is free they will tell you free down here if it is the pro one to you see down there is pro and or basically when you see this kind of crown on the image or any of the elements it means that that element is pro but the ones without it are free so you can use any of these for your designs so basically let's let's choose any one of them let's say i like this one i want to put it somewhere mm, so cool basically so you can get any form of images here there are lots of them that you can get for your designs oh cover is so cool you see there's a lot that you can do with canva okay so let's get to the next one so elements elements that's where you get icons you get uh, shapes you get frames there are a lot of them here that you can get you just have to go through the account list a lot of them even stickers so you can add a sticker to it if let's say it is for uh, an instagram post you can add this nice sticker to it depending on the design ID. you can add charts to it and you change the values it's so so nice okay we'll discuss them into details but i'm just introducing you to the things that you can get from here so these are icons that you can use or illustrations we call these illustrations that you can use for your design okay so over here too, you can also search for what you are looking for so if it is a book that i'm looking for search for book and as you can see these are free this is pro this is pro this is free so you can use any of them just by clicking on it or come to yeah that's for the element and test so with test we have three main sizes that has been pre-determined and that's the heading size and you see how the size is that's 130 we have the subheading when you click on it it will automatically add it. and we have the very little one however you can change all of these we will look at it subsequently so we can add any text that we want let's see my name dr ehonia obed okay and size we resize it let's say i put it here yeah so basically you can add templates that are there too uh, if you think this template is nice you just click on it and you get it on your design mm -hmm. you can as well change the color we'll look more into it but you can as well change the color uh, let's say we want white then you come to this one too then you change the color see this color so now as you can see or you bring it somewhere that you want so the goal right now is just to introduce you to the various elements that are available so if you are doing some sort of audio you can add music to it if you are doing some sort of video as well you can add some music from here you can add some videos and that one too is put into categories you can add them then some backgrounds for your design so these are nice backgrounds that you can use for your design and even you are doing a design outside canva you can as well download some backgrounds from here and use them in your design since these are free okay so if you have already created a folder then 
you will see the folders that you have created here so that you can get the designs that you've done already also in it as well all right so basically we've explored the toolbar in canva in this lesson and in the subsequent lesson we'll delve more into it Thank you.